Juan Pablo's season of The Bachelor kicks off with an epic meltdown and an awkward rose ceremony mix-up. Our top five most embarrassing moments coming up. Hi, I'm Brian Corsetti for ENTV and TVLine.com has all the details. Juan Pablo may be The Bachelor, but we all know the first night belongs to the 20-something ladies doing anything and everything to get his attention. So just how desperate, awkward, and shameless did it get? Here are top five moments. Number five, everyone has a gimmick when they first meet The Bachelor, and this season was no different. There was a girl with a fake baby bump, a teacher giving out gold stars, and some weird metaphor about having chemistry that involved protective goggles. But none were more awkward than Lauren S., who attempted to serenade Juan Pablo while rolling a damn piano up the driveway. I'm trying. <laughs> okay. Can you do it? Come on. I'll help you out. I might need your help. Oh, I think I got it. Uh, you got it? I got it. I'll wait for you. I'm coming. <laughs> what a ah, song. I like that. <laughs> Hi. Number four, Amy J. Juan Pablo, I made you breakfast. Meow. Now, we knew something wasn't right during her intro. The crazy eyes, the whole laughing to herself thing. I'm no professional, but I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to give oil massages to people with their clothes on. Even Juan Pablo knew something was off. The massage was pretty awkward. Number three, speaking of our boy Juan P, I kind of felt bad for the guy when he decided to give the first impression rose to Charlene. And it turned out, she's just not into him. Charlene, would you accept this rose? I guess I thought that I would feel more of this, like, insta-chemistry than I did. Ouch. Number two, one word, cat. Cat. Cat, cat. Oh, I thought you said Kylie. I'm sorry. Oh. Let's run that again. Oh, my thing's a Kylie. By the way, Kylie never did get a rose. And the number one most awkward moment of the night? Lauren H's epic meltdown. We're not quite sure when it all started, but when it did, there was no stopping it. Yep, still going. Anyway, when she finally got her one-on-one -on -one time with Juan Pablo, we knew she was a goner. Here's a tip, ladies. Talking about how you're still damaged from the last guy who broke your heart isn't exactly the best way to get a guy to fall for you. I was in a relationship that I was engaged to okay. be married a, okay. a few months ago, and I'm so over it, but at the same time, I think that there are insecurities that came from it. Ian TV's Rose of the Week goes to Andy, the hot lawyer and the only one who didn't seem to reveal tons of emotional baggage on the first night. Hey, it's the little things. So which moments made you cringe the most? And how long before No Shoes Lucy gets the boot? Sound off with your thoughts in the comment section below and we'll feature our favorites in next week's recap. Subscribe below for our weekly Bachelor Breakdown every Tuesday. Click here to find out which two famous exes are back together. And for a new preview of the new American Idol season, click right here. I'm Brian Corsetti. For more TV news, log on to TVLine.com and stay tuned to ENTV for all your entertainment news.